This is an introduction on how to install and use Traffic Parrot in less than three minutes. In this example, we will test a finance application that is connecting to a third-party API to get market data. We will put Traffic Parrot in between the application and the third-party API to record traffic and then put it into playback mode so that it plays back the traffic. Then we will alter the recorded response and therefore change the response return to the user. In the first terminal window, I will start the finance application. It is running on port 8080 on localhost. Let's look at that. It is a simple web application that connects to a third party API to get the last stock quote price. Now let us start Traffic Parrot. I have downloaded the installation files and now I need to extract them. We will start Traffic Parrot by running the start script. On Windows, please use start.cmd instead. I'll do that by opening a terminal window and running it. We can see if Traffic Parrot has started successfully by looking at the log files. Here we can see Traffic Parrot is running on port 8080 on localhost. Let's see that in the browser. We can now start the recorder pointed at the third party API. We can see the recorder is running on port localhost 8081 and proxying to the third party API. It is time to point the finance application at the recorder. To do that, we'll open the terminal again, stop the application, edit the configuration files, and point it at Traffic Parrot. So now the finance application is pointing at the recorder in Traffic Parrot, which is recording the third party API interactions. Now when we refresh the finance application, it makes another request to the backend systems, which is actually Traffic Parrot that is recording the interactions with the third party API. And we can see here it's recorded one request to the third party API. It has recorded a GET request to this URL with these response headers and this response body. We can see the last price being displayed on the finance application page just here. We can edit it now and see what the application does when the price gets below 10. Now when we refresh the page, we'll see that the application displays the last price in red text font. So we have tested a hypothetical situation which would be very hard to test with a real third party API because it's very unlikely that the last stock quote price for Apple stock would be less than 10. In order to stop Traffic Parrot, we run the stop script. This was an example how to install and use Traffic Parrot for manual exploratory testing. If you would like to see Traffic Parrot for automation, please see other videos.